Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Dungeon Exiles run. The roguelike auto butler that has almost a system like Path of Exile, but mainly the abilities you get really remind you of those classes. Let's go with an assassin run today. So this guy has a passive off, starts with evasion and gains dexterity mainly, which is attack speed and a bit of strength and intelligence per level. And he at first the ability is deadly poison, which inflicts a deadly poison dealing damage, nature damage per second for three seconds. Maybe I'm gonna do a poison build. Let's do a run here. Here we're gonna try to get up to floor 10 which is the endless and then one more run i guess and uh i guess endless once and let's go i hope you have seen the first run of the game here is because i'm not gonna be explaining as i explained things in the very first video hopefully top right cards are gonna appear for the first video let's try to get a path which as many fights as possible because only fights are important in this game uh i think we're gonna go this path which money fights and xp fights and then an elite and then we skip the fire we go down and like that and then we go over to this line this looks like an insane insane path for a million fights I like it. Let's do it. Um, you can switch and toggle abilities during the time. Yeah, we know that. Let's go. And there is a speed up time. Ooh, there was a pad from the last time I played. Nice. Then we can play on ultra fast. Yeah, 50% faster game speed. Perfect. 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 We're going to be playing on ultra fast for the rest of time here. So there has been a patch from the last time I played, I guess, which is awesome. Uh, always 150. I guess it is not always pre-constructed here. This, well, as you see, everything casts on itself. We're attacking the opponents on itself. I'm gonna try to build an assassin build. But if you saw the first video, when you go into endless, you pretty much get every single um, passive in the game. Um, so uh, yeah, there is that, I guess. Which is gonna mean uh, for the minute, there is this option for auto, no auto skip, non dialogue. Yeah, whatever. Let's sort of continue. So, uh, as I tried to say, at the end of the video, we should have literally every single passive the Assassin has to get. And let's get our first ones. So, we got Assassin, Duelist, and Blood Reaper. Let's read what those classes give us, and then we're going to read what the, um, this in itself gives us. Because I want to see what class we're going to go and not what passive we're going to get. So, uh, Assassin gives us the Assassin Synergy. Crit Strike Chance, Crit Strike Multiplier. That's nice. Crit Strike Chance and uh, uh, plus 2.5 uh, Crit Strike Chance and 4% increase attack speed after dealing a crit. Up to, uh, for 5 seconds, stacking up to 3 times, so that, so that means 7.5% crit strike chance and 12% crit attack speed. Restore 1% of maximum health after dealing a crit with an attack. Oh, that's actually really nice, so that's a lot of healing. If every single attack is a crit, that's nice. And then a level 8, 1% crit strike multiplier and 0.1% crit strike chance after dealing a crit strike, stacking indefinite, infinitely. Oh, that's awesome, the final level especially. Duelist. Chance to parry attacks and inflict three physical back to when hit. Okay. Physical damage equals to 50% of your attack damage. And, um, wait, what? Deal physical damage equal to 50% of your attack damage. Okay, so you can do even more damage. And gain 2.5 of maximum overguard after you parrying attack. So that's defense. Overguard is shielding pretty much. 2% increase attack speed after parrying and attack stacking indefinitely. Okay, infinitely, I guess. Attack speed is always nice. And chance to gain max overguard on hit. That's also nice. And then the Blood Reaper here. Gain 1 health on hit and 50% chance to bleed. 12% increase attack speed and gain 2 health on hit after inflicting a bleed for 5 seconds. Okay, that's also nice. 10% um, chance to bleed and 2% attack damage leached as health. That's also really good. And 50% increased uh, health restored from leeching. Okay, those are all awesome leech, by the way. It's very, very bad effects. And I think we're going to go Assassin, as it has healing at the third level. Um, although bleeding also, I enjoy that. I mean, I'm between bleeding and Assassin. Maybe both of them. Maybe we're going to go full on aggro on those. So let's begin with Assassin, trying to go for that um, final crit strike is insanity type of deal, plus crits in general, the damage. And if I can get to level 6, we're going to heal. Although this is just straight up healing if I get it. You know, let's just get the straight up healing if I get it, the blood re. I'm so much in between those two. What do they give us? 6% increase max health and 12 max health and increase attack damage and crit strike multiplier. Uh, what's my crit strike chance right now, though? A crit strike chance right now is 7.5%. Uh, let's go crits, man. I'm an assassin. We're gonna go assassin. And do we want to upgrade my poison ability or do we want to go and... Um Get a new one. I would say let's get a new one. There are passives in this game that are good. Let's hope we're going to find a passive. Activates once. And why, why not? Okay, this is a passive trade much. It just activates once. Cast an aura that adds additional nature damage to attacks and poison chance. Gain 10% physical damage as extra nature damage and 10% chance to poison. We're going to go with that. Uh, I don't want spells that actually cast. What is the 7% of your attack damage is at least just health. That's cool. But still, I want just flat out passives because I don't want to be casting. As in general, casting makes you uh, spend your mana and we don't have any mana healing now and it's in general also hard to get mana healing does the poison uh stack forever or how does the poison exactly work zero percent nature resistance okay i guess it just is some damage 
I almost lost half my health there. Not almost, I straight up lost half my health. Let's actually speed up everything. In general, the slowdown in this game is going to be my choices as to what to go for. Otherwise, the game should be going pretty fast. And uh, yeah, let's go and see how this is going to run in general. Uh, off to the XP side. So this should mainly give us, mostly give us a level. This is a fight that gives us 35% increased XP gain. Oh, it even says it now. I didn't used to say it previously. And it even says how much armor armor gives. And resistance resist. Perfect, perfect. The game be just became so much better from the last time I played. Assassin is here. 2.5% crit strike chance and 12% increased attacks. But that's already godlike. Alchemist, another new class. Gain 12% of physical damage as extra nature damage. And plus 12 max mana. Increase nature damage and chance to poison. Restore max mana after poisoning. And chance to apply target minus 1 nature resistance on hit. Stacking and definitely half the chance. Okay, that's nice. Poison build. And then shadow stacker, another one. 18 max energy shield and 12% shadow resistance. Increase energy shield gain. 12% physical damage as for shadow damage 2.5 attack damage leached as energy shield and increased maximum energy shield per one dexterity so this is very much from like path of exile this literally this energy shield and shadow not lot this really means we're gonna get assassin here attacks with increased strike chance and we're also gonna get even more crit strike chance and crit strike multiplier so uh, let's go and i go to the next fight Beat the game up let's see and hope we can beat the elite because we're closing into an elite and also i haven't gotten a single consumable right now and that's a bit scary to me not having consumables but it's okay with 100% consumable. 50% increase attack damage and 25% chance to crit. Perfect. That really might save us against the elite because we're going into an elite fight now. Um, you shall not pass. Yeah, whatever. I would say let's just drink it. Uh, let's actually see who goes faster here. If I can bring him first to half health, I'm not drinking it. I, he just missed even. He just gets attack speed buff. Okay, we brought him first to half health. I think there is no danger here. Yeah, we got him down before he even got us to half health. Easy enough, very nice, that was safe. And let's see what we can get out of that, which is nothing, by the way. Uh, we're gonna go fight, and then chest, which is gonna be our first item. Items in general are extremely important, uh, but I guess we're gonna go to the boss fight without items. Items you find either in the shop or in chests. Let's speed the game up, please. It'd be a fight, this, this, this even seems like a harder fight. Specifically nature resistance. We found uh, attack speed and a cooldown recovery potion, very nice. Uh, Shadow Stacker, Shadow Stacker, and Blood Reaper. I mean, I said the second thing is going to be the Blood Reaper I'm going to build up, so that's what we're going to go with. Cooldown recovery rate and mana. Yeah, that's like shielding and mana and whatnot. No, we're going damage only. Blood Reaper. 6% increase maximum health and 12% maximum health. And then also chance uh, when I get to 2, it's going to start healing us. I'm going to upgrade an ability. We're going to always upgrade this thing. Uh, so we get more damage for free and more chance to poison the opponents for free. Now let's see what our first item is. This might make or break the run. Be intelligence, increase mana, region, max mana. That's completely useless. Uh, physical damage, chance to bleed and attack speed. That's very good. Uh, max health and region, max health. That's also really good. Uh, I mean, these are both really good. I would say I want to go with the damage and chance to bleed and increase attack speed. Because that helps overall all the build and also the idea I wanted to go for anyway. I could go the below path to go to a shop with 500. That's a good idea. But I think we're going to just straight up go to the fights that are going to give us one more level and i think those levels are gonna be more important in winning anyway i mean that's not true the shop gives you godlike items but i will try to force the shop at the beginning of the next zone each zone gives you better and better items in the shop anyway so might as well uh the second elite here might be a bit dangerous level three elite uh the elites have some difference in comparison to normal fights but nah no we got him easily yeah he is even missing what's my dodge chance in the first place evasion 25 20 percent chance to dodge a hit very nice Damage reduction blocked. I'm not blocking, though. And we found the bread. You restore 25% of your health in combat. That's the best consumable item, as that's going to just instant heal you, as there are slow healing potions, which are a bit worse. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, definitely drop a like and subscribe, because that's how the algorithm takes off, and then, you know, I get a bunch of views. I mean, the video gets a bunch of views, and then through that, I'm like, okay, because people are watching this, I'm going to now play this again. So this is why this video is happening right now, because the previous one went well. I guess I should just put some times in, like, I should start being like, if we hit 5,000 views, if, if we hit 5,000 likes, then we're gonna, I don't know, doesn't matter. Uh, two new things, do a list, no, that's the parry thing, Trickster uh, gives us evasion and increased evasion chance, chance to dodge attacks and chance to dodge spells, restore 2% of maximum health on dodge, and increase attack speed on dodge, stacking infinitely, okay, that's also awesome, maybe the next one, assassin here, which is what we want to build into, plus it's green, so it's upgraded. 25% increased attack speed on combat start for 10 seconds. Okay, okay, fair enough. So that's actually an assassination technique here. Um, here I cannot actually forge because we don't have items, so I'm not gonna heal, so we're gonna meditate. That means 10 more max health, which is sad and bad, but it's okay. 
375. Let's see if we get them. I think I should drink the damage potion the moment the fight starts because I have a 10% attack speed on the start of this fight. So let's drink that right away. So for 5 seconds, this gives us 50% damage and 25% attack speed. I could just drink both, but let's actually keep them. Actually, let's not keep them. Let's just... No, I think we got this. Why would she... we lose even? Yeah, we destroyed him already. He's already at half health. And we just lost the, attack, the damage buff. And now I lost the attack speed buff. And he's already toast. Yeah, easy enough win. Easy enough win. We just drank one potion. And we almost leveled up too. Off to the next zone. Let's see if we can start with a shop this time. That would be nice. There is a shop right here, which I enjoy. And there are only fights, 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 fights. And then we get fire camp here. Fights one event, which is okay. And then more fights and we're done. I do enjoy this pathing. Otherwise, I could go to this event. Or we could go above. Um, and then go through the middle here. And then go shopping again. So we go double shop. And then we go like that. And double elites. And then we can avoid that event. And then they'll go right here. Yeah, I think that's better. I do prefer that better. Uh, better going double shop than going events. I, I hate the events in this game unless they change them. But we're not going to test it right now. Maybe later if we're forced into it. But we're not. At least we're not forced right now. So now we start with a 25% attack speed at the start of each fight. So that should make a difference. And opponents start becoming a bit more dangerous as I just saw. Blood Reaper, a green one. Blood Reaper, white one. Okay, let's see what choices we have because now we know what we want. 12% increased attack damage, chance to bleed. 6% increased maximum health, chance to dodge. Gain 3 health on hit while below half. Obviously, we're going to go here. Plus, the gain 1 hit on uh, one health on hit and 15% chance to bleed. That overall is going to upgrade us. We're going to upgrade the poison chance here to 12% chance and 12% damage. And we're going to go to the first shop with 800 coins. So in the shop, in case you don't know, you get passive stat bonuses. That's it. And definitely more rerolls. So it's buy the rerolls and it's also drink the rerolls right away. So we get six rerolls here. And buying the rerolls is cost 45. Rerolling by hand costs like 30 something. So I'm always gambling to get one to three rerolls. So uh, five to all the metal resistance. That's nice. And 6% attack speed. I like that already. 3% chance to block attacks and nature resistance to fire resistance by defense. Uh, chance to block attacks, evasion, and reflect physical damage to attacker on block. Eh. Max health and evasion, that's nice, but it's also useless. Armor and evasion and regenerate health, I enjoy that a lot. Nature resistance, whatever. Fire damage, decent. Physical damage, decent. Uh, definitely take this. These are just straight up free stats, by the way. Uh, chance to block and nature, no, no, no. Uh, we're gonna go with armor and evasion, which are stats and regen health, really nice. Uh, max health, max evasion, this is not really worth it. I mean, even those are not worth it. It's better to roll into other weapons and maybe buy them with some upgrades in them, like this, for example. You see, the normal weapon costs like 180. This with an upgrade on it, 188, so definitely worth it. Uh, let's buy another reroll. So from five, we go up to six, so that was not worth it, but it's a gamble. I prefer the gamble two out of three being worth it than not. Strength is damage, 5% damage, 2.5% uh, damage. So this is cool on recovery. Chance, uh, crit strike, multiply, and fire resistance. Dexterity, which is attack speed. 2.5% uh, attack speed per dexterity is what dexterity gives us. You can go ahead here and see it. 2.5% uh, this attack speed per dexterity. So dexterity is worth it. And this also gives a region that's really nice. 3 dex, 7.5% attack speed and 0.8 region. That's nice. Uh, chance to block, evasion, and energy shield on block. Energy shield on block, okay. Chance to block and region health per second. Uh, I could buy both of these and they're gonna combo because that's 8% chance to block and 3% chance to block. So that's like 11% chance to block and then we also get energy shield on block. Nature resistance, nature resistance, no. Physical damage, lightning damage. We buy this for sure. We definitely buy the damage. Um, armor evasion and then cold resistance and nature resistance. Maybe. Definitely buy the regen. regen. Uh, I would like to buy both of these, honestly. Uh, this is recovery, strength, not really. Evasion and damage and cold in nature. I mean, this really feels the best here. Uh, but I definitely want to buy these two because they combo and they also give us health region. And I do enjoy the health region at play. And uh, nature and nature. I would say we're actually ready to go. Let's keep the mind we're going to another shop anyway. So let's leave this. And off to the next one. I would say we go this path with XP. Then we go down that path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. So now the guy have a Grave Robber. This guy starts with shielding. Oh, we can exactly see what he gets. Gain maximum energy shield equal to maximum maximum health and regenerate 0 0.5 per second. Okay, he's gone. That's what he is. Didn't even see the fight happening. Off to the XP fight. Yeah, these guys should in general just all explode now because we do so much more damage than we previously did. Nope, they are doing a lot, but look at our healing is through the roof. 40% chance to all resistances. <clears throat> Not chance, just straight up 40% more resistances to everything. That's nice to have against, um, I guess, the boss if it has elemental stuff going on. Look at the regen we got going. We're losing life, but we got regen. Uh, double Trickster, restore 2% of your maximum mana on dodge. Now we're gonna go Blood Reaper here for sure, so we get the bonuses, especially the late game bonuses. Uh, the 2% attack damage leads us health. 
So, increase attack damage and chance to bleed. Yeah, I would say, yeah, we just take that. We go into the bleed poison rod or whatever we have, uh, we are building right now. Maggity, smaggity. This guy has 20, po uh, 20 mana and he's gone. We are still for life. Nobody can touch us right now. Uh, we're gonna go to the shop again with 274. I guess I can only buy one item, but it's better to go shop than go uh, event. Is it? Is it so much better to go to the shop? I mean, it's also double elite fight. Yeah, let's go to the shop. Let's see what you're selling. This is crit. Yeah, crit strike chance and crit damage multiplier. I'll enjoy that. We work that build anyway. Evasion and cold resistance is good. Armor, max mana, reflect physical, who cares? Max health, who cares? Max mana, who cares? Chance to block attacks, inch resistance, and reflect physical. Crit strike chance 1.8. This is 1.3. And we're gonna definitely buy this. And I would say one more dice. But I don't think I can buy dice because I don't have room and I don't want to throw anything out. Uh, you know what? Let's actually... Uh, let us... Uh, yeah, let's actually buy the die. No, I throw this out. <clears throat> and we buy the die. And we drink the die and this was worth it. And uh, with 183 with the 8th, theoretically I can buy one more thing. So let's actually roll away from these. Okay, crit strike, multiplier, and fire resistance, chance to block, and nature resistance, lightning resistance. I would like some damage, but the damage is more than 190. Mana region is nice. Max health is eh, cold resistance. Mana region is good. Reflect, no, no. Evasion armor, lightning resistance, crit strike, multiplier, crit strike, multiplier. You know what? Let's go with double crit strike, multiplier. We're going full on damage. And we got another dice here for the exact amount from 7 to go up to 9. So once again, it was worth it. Dice and average are always worth it. Let's go here. This is going to be now we upgrade one of our items. What's the best item? That is not from a treasure chest, so this cannot get upgraded. Um, I think the best item we could upgrade is the Dexterity plus region 1. So we're going to go for Dexterity in one region. Or actually, this could have also been the best, the damage one. Let's go Elite. We should have all of these at this point. 3% increase max health, whatever. Doesn't matter. We have regen so much. Yeah, we regenerate so much health. Um, and at half health, we heal even more. Let's not forget that. So um, we are good to go. Easy enough. Unless we get exploded on... We should uh, increase our max health, by the way, so that I can uh, start uh, gaining the region earlier. Let's see what we get. Maximum health, chance to block attacks, gain 4 health on block. That's nice. Strength, which is damage. So this is 10% damage. 60% of damage from crits and reflect 3 damage to attacker and hit. That's also nice. Intelligence and mana and whatnot. I don't care about this. Um, chance to block spells. Oh, 30% chance to block spells. That's actually really good. 30% chance to block spells. I could reroll these. Didn't realize. You know what? I would like to go with damage, though. Max health and block chance and heal on block. I mean, what's my block chance right now? Because I have already block chance. Uh, my block chance right now. Damage reduction on block. Chance to block attacks. 11% block chance is what I have. And this makes us 21. And then heal 4 on block. Um, let's roll. Uh, this is the block spell thing, intelligence, and 1 to all maximum, resi maximum resistances, this is godlike. Uh, 12 to all resistances and 25% mana regen, I'm taking this. Maximum resistances is very important because the maximum resistance normally is 70, um, a 80, 75, I think. It might be, I think it's 75, so this brings it up to 76. It, it does a difference, man. I, I'm taking this. 12 to all resistances. And right now, in general, I want to cap my resistance as fast as possible. I only have 5555, five, five, five. let's definitely take this. 17, 17, 17, and 12. That's a, this is a very big difference, especially for when opponents do elemental attacks. Look at this. 25% physical damage is extra lightning. And also 10% chance to shock us. Shock us, we take more damage. You see, just like that, we uh, took less damage from this guy. Just like that. And in general, it's very important to build up your resistance fast. Like I said, Path of Exile, very uh, similar. Okay, so we're not really forced. We can reroll, but let's see what the choices are here. Duelist, 16%. I mean, I'm not into these at all. 25% increase nature damage after poisoning an enemy. Who cares? 16% chance to, I mean, this is not who cares because I'm playing with poison. 6% chance to parry an attack and 6% to all elemental resistances while guarded. That means you need to have overguard. I don't build overguard right now. Uh, I'm gonna roll actually. Let's let's try to take the assassin. 5% increase attack speed after dealing a crit strike for 6 seconds, stacking up to 6 times. Wow, that's 30% attack speed right here. And we're also gonna get the synergy 4 bonus, 2.5% increase strict chance and 4% increase attack speed 3 times. So we just got... 7.5% uh, crit strike chance and 12% attack speed and another 3% attack speed on top of that. We got a lot of attack speed here. Let's upgrade the poison chance. Because we know at level 5 the spells upgrade even further, just so you know. Let's go. We're about to go into another shop, by the way, with 200 coins. And we now start... Wait, did I not crit yet? What's my crit chance? 20%. We are very low on crit right now. It's a bit... We, we are still in the gamble territory. Um, okay, I could go fight, fight. Or... Uh, Upgrade, fight, upgrade. I would say fight, fight. I think I can get a level if I fight twice, right? 
I can't even see. Uh, we're definitely going here, though. Definitely not fire. Yeah, I think... Uh, let's, let's see if I'm gonna get levels here. If I get a level here, then we don't go fight. If we if we don't get a level here, I do go fight. Hey, look, he does a bunch of damage to us. And he's gone. And we didn't get a level. And we even got a bread, the instant heal a godlike action. So we're gonna go fight here so we get one more level before the boss. If I don't crit, we have issues. Uh, we just crit and we got these buffs here up. So now my crit chance is 22%. Assassin again, very nice. So 25% crit strike multiplier and 4% chance to crit strike while below half health. Uh, while below half health. Why is this while below half health? Doesn't matter, we're still taking it. So this is, I guess, a reverse assassination technique. Let's go into upgrading one of our crit-related stuff. I would like to upgrade this, honestly. Crit strike multiplier is higher and, and once again, these are not upgradable. And crit strike damage. Let's go off to the next fight. And uh, we should have this, theoretically. I mean, if we don't have this, we still can just drink the potions. Uh, but let's not forget, we have so much healing, unless the opponent just straight up explodes us. 100% extra damage as shadow damage. Okay, shadow damage is important to be uh, countered. And we got him easy enough, didn't even touch us. Not even remotely close to touching us, actually. We are safe from getting touched. Uh, let's go, I know I'm saying cringy stuff. Let's go like this, shop, and then go XP and down, and then we go one event. Then we go dice roll for free, elite fight, and then we go here shopping, down for XP, and then over here with XP. Yeah, that's a very good path. I would like to be able to uh, mark things. Uh, so, anyway, doing it. Let's go. Uh, so, always in the beginning, take 30% damage from crits, gain 25% cold damage. In the beginning, it's always the first fight is the most dangerous one. After the first fight's done, you know it's beatable. Nice. Shadow Stalker, Blood Reaper, Trickster, Blood Reaper is part of the build. So 1% of attack damage, leeched as health, and 8% max health. Love it, love it. And we're gonna also get the level 4 synergy, 12% increase attack damage, and uh, attack speed, and 2 health on hit after inflicting a bleed. And I am inflicting bleeds. Upgrade ability, upgrade my poison, and now we get an extra upgrade on the poison. So the poison is 13% physical damage as explanation, 30% chance to poison. And let's see what upgrade we can choose. 50% damage as nature. Um, and nature resistance, so this changes it completely. This is chance to poison and damage as extra. This is uh, extra damage and nature resistance. Completely different spell. 50% chance to physical damage as uh, nature and chance to poison. So this is just an upgrade, straight up upgraded. And this is physical as nature and increase nature damage in general. So this is we go away from poison. Both of these are we go away from poison. This is you go nature damage but not poison. This is you go nature resistance but not poison. And this is you go more into poison. Uh, let's go with... I'm gonna say we just go straight up into... Just make it better. If it works, it works, you know. Let's go into money. And let's go fighting. Nice. Uh, so this guy... Oh, poison stacks. I just saw a second poison. Deadly poison, nature resistance zero. What? Deadly poison. Do I have some kind of deadly poison debuff or something? Oh, I think the... Wait a minute. I think the other spell I'm casting is what's doing that. Right, what does this do? Inflict a deadly poison dealing seven uh, nature damage per second for three seconds. Ah, okay, well. And this is just a potent virulent, this is just a... This is not this, it's this. No, you know, it doesn't matter, let's continue. Maybe I should have gone with nature damage. I'm not gonna play nature damage anyway. Um, I said sharp XP, right? Yeah, sharp XP. I mean, we have 500 coins anyway, so definitely sharp. Max health and evasion and regenerate health and dexterity. Instant buy, don't even need to think about it. Crit multiplayer attacks with increased strike chance, instant buy. Also don't need to think about it. Even if I can't buy the rest. I'm not seeing a weapon anyway, so. Uh, chance to block attacks, evasion, reflect physical and shadow resistance. Okay. I mean, chance to block attacks is good in general. All resistances and max energy shield. I enjoy this. All resistances is good. 5% is very low, but still it's good. Strength and strength. This is uh, damage, like 12% damage or something. I'm taking this, definitely. Max health and to all resistances. Nine to all resistances. I'm taking this. I'm not taking the hood. The hood is max energy shield with five resistance. This is health and nine resistance, definitely. And health is also more important for us in general, specifically. Okay, now I can either go for a dice or we can buy the block, evasion, and shadow resistance. Everything this. <laughs> Straight up. And now my defenses are pretty good. 26 on everything and 12. I mean, we obviously want to cap them if possible. Not if possible. It is going to be possible. At the end, everything's going to be capped. Uh, this guy does reflect three physical damage for attacker and hit. Slow down, please. Almost died there. Uh, regenerate five percent max mana per second. This is the most useless potion I've ever, I've ever seen. Alchemist restore one percent of maximum health after poisoning an enemy. That's actually really, really good. I think I'm gonna buy this regardless. 
I think I should buy this. Because I am poisoning an enemy pretty often. So this is like 1% healing every time we poison somebody. I do enjoy the Blood Reaper here. 12% chance to bleed and 5% increase max health. No, we're, we're going to this. We're going the 1% maximum health heal after poison. We're poisoning pretty often. We're going to be at the Alchemist build at the very end of the game anyway. Like, we're going to go all the builds. Uh, in case you didn't see the first video, uh, if you go into Endless, the moment you hit to the 10th floor, you, you most likely have almost everything. Maybe one skill tree is not going to be ready, which is most likely going to be the parry skill tree. Let's go event. And the event is... Oh, this is new. A uh, certain night, I want to reach the very bottom of these dungeons. What can I teach me? Complete my quest, 160 gold. Okay, we need to keep 160 gold, basic training. Okay, certain night, you can teach me to survive and leave without. We're gonna go here. Most likely, it's gonna be um, a level. First of all, let me see your... After some of time, finish training, blah, 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 blah. 20 max health and reject... What? What? This is insane. Just a free buff for 60 coins? 20 max health is very decent and regen... This is nice. I got a free buff. Okay, we, we want to always keep like 200 coins around. For that event. I guess they added new and good events. I didn't really see or read the patch notes in case there were or some patch notes. So, um, yeah. Uh, Regen max mana once again useless. Let's go. It's not like I have room for potions anyway. Let's go elite fight. 1000 health. Nature damage. Nature resistance. All the resistance. Nature resistance. Yeah, specifically more nature resistance. Why specifically more nature resistance? Uh, well, we're not even losing life. So, um, let's just go through this. Once again, they can't really do anything to us. Nobody should be even able to do anything to us. Trickster invasion and wild blow health. Shadow and trickster again. No, now we're gonna start rolling here, I would say. Wand assassin. Duelist is the blocking thing. Shadow stalker is the energy thing. 0.3 of attack damage, leeches mana, and 12% shadow resistance while shielded. I'm not shielding, my boy. Three or Restore 3% of maximum energy shield on dodge. Um, No, we're rolling away. Alchemist, alchemist, duelist. I mean, I'm already into alchemist. Physical damage as extra nature and max mana. I mean, that's nice. Gain 12% physical damage as extra nature damage. Increase mana regen rate. That's good. Regen 0.5 maximum health per second and nature resistance. I do enjoy this one and go into alchemist, I guess. 6% chance to parry attacks, elemental resistance while guard. I'm not guarding, man. Uh, Yeah, I would say let's go with a smidge more healing and resistance. Instead of going for the damage. Yeah, let's go with a smidge more. And let's get the new ability now. Obviously, we want passives. Uh, Autocasm cooldown, autocasm cooldown, autocasm cooldown, roll away. And we found one. Cast an aura that grants increased elemental resistances. 16% to element, all elemental resistances and nature resistance and shadow resistance. Perfect. Auto cast of cooldown. What is this? Chris strike chance for 5 seconds. Ooh. I think I should go for the Chris strike chance in 5 seconds. Uh, I mean, I want the nature, the resistances though. Attack leaves us health. I mean, this is damage, this is survivability. The thing is, if I can get the elements going. I'm, uh, I'm pretty much done with caring about getting elementals, elemental resistances. But I think I should just go with a uh, crit strike chance because we're a crit build and everything is going in with a crit idea. So let's go with this. And uh, let's definitely switch the spells now slots. Sorry, this is here. So this has uh, the first slot is 20% reduced cooldown and mana. And this has an 8 second cooldown and lasts for 5 seconds. So this definitely goes first. And if we're going to keep the deadly poison, we're going to see because I'm not really sure about how much poison we can even uh, dish out. Uh, do I want to go shop once with 175? I could buy one thing, but I would prefer just to go the... Um, just more fights. Yeah, just, just, just go more fights. Let's see the legendary we're gonna get. N health regen. Okay, 15% health regen. 20% nature resistance. Regenerate 0.5 max health per second for every 5 nature resistance. Okay, that's a lot of healing. At 50 nature resistance is 1% per second. That's very powerful. Uh, fire damage, max health added to fire damage and maximum health. So, so uh, 35 max health and fire damage and gain added fire damage based on your max health. Maximum attack block chance. Chance to block attacks. Increase damage per 2% of block chance. I mean, all of these are good. Uh, I would say we go health region and nature resistance. I mean, I'm full into nature resistance anyway. Shadow resistance, nature resistance 24. I mean, I would like to get legendary damage, honestly. Let's roll into damage. Here we go. So, five de per perfect. Five dexterity is attack speed, nature damage to attacks, and increase nature damage per one dexterity. This is exactly, this is exactly what I wanted. Exactly. Perfect. Max mana, who cares? Fire damage. Yeah, we had that. Let's take this. This is the godlike roll. Let's go. I think we have an insane damage boost now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Although we're losing a lot of life, but look at how fast we're healing up also. This guy's gone. Off to the next fight. This guy has nature resistance and all mental resistances. Let's see how the, he's gonna deal against us. Attack speed and physical damage as extra nature. He's gone. That's what he is. Next. We're gonna go fight again. 
This is uh, just armor and nature is damage. I mean, if they have armor, they're not doing anything. And we're, let's not forget we're scaling attack and whatnot. I don't think they have mana issues. Alchemist, what's this? Increased dexterity cunning. I'm taking this. This is no stat, whatever, but you want this, definitely. I'm, I'm going to be a dex build anyway, so going into just getting free decks forever is good and that's a multiplier on decks i have 3d decks right now Let's speed this up i don't think he has us anyway oh that was a big hit we just took uh oh no he's done he's gone he also took a huge hits very nice let's upgrade something let's go forge and we, i would say i want the um, something that gives us dexterity i would say we either go with this attacks with crit chance crit damage or we go with max health evasion region decks uh, double strength, I would say. No, I mean, this is just plus two strength if I pick it. Oh, this is also good. Health and uh, old resistances. I would say we go with a bunch of damage choices for now. And then the next one should be the old resistances. Unless I find a better one. Let's go against the boss, the Blight Caller. Uh, I have a double bread, so I'm in no danger whatsoever. And as I'm seeing, he isn't even able to take away our life at all. And we don't have mana issues, is also a thing I'm seeing. So we can play with double spells right now. Chuck should speed this up. He literally does nothing to us. Literally impossible to do anything to us. Very nice. Fixer Shadowstalker Alchemist. Once again, uh, twins increase skill effect duration, regenerate max health per second. Okay, skill effect duration is buffs and debuffs. Still six health on dodge, and still three max energy shield on dodge. Okay, we're rolling away. I want to go into assassin or uh, poison. Nature damage, poisoning an enemy. No, I want. Assassin, here we go. So 25% increased strike multiplier after dealing extra strike. Very nice. That's actually helping us. And we are, are going Assassin 6. Restore 1% of max health after dealing a crit. And we're going to upgrade. And we're going to upgrade the chance to crit. Which makes it more expensive unless they mm, change that. I think it was... I need to look into the next level. When I'm going to get the next level on this. Uh, and we need to see how much mana it's going to cost. So the path is going to be... Uh, I have money for events, by the way. Oof, these are not good paths. These are not good paths. I guess I want to go here, and then oof, double shop. No, then this is a good fighting path. I guess. There is also good... Yeah, this is a very, very bad path. Unless I go like this. I'm most likely double elite, and then we go something like this. And then maybe a shop here, and then we go through here. Maybe. So, so, such bad paths. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh, so actually let's go money let's now I want to go shopping so we're gonna go like this Although more fights we're gonna go shopping here I would say let's do it let's speed up uh, first of all let's be afraid of exploding okay we didn't explode we're healing a lot also nice off to the money fight how much money is this 35% more money okay that's not that much we just almost exploded there Whoop, I'm still alive. At half health, I'm better. Look at him exploding, man. At half health, I just explode them. Back speed and whatnot. Uh, no, I prefer the double bread we have. Let's go event. Uh, pray for some... If you pray, you lose max resolve. So I'm just gonna ignore this. I don't care about max resolve. Playing resistances, damage, or recovery. Who cares? Who cares? That's why I hate events. Let's go here. Because I don't want to trade anything. I just want to survive. Whoop. Am I almost at half health? Now I'm at half health. And he's gone. And we got attack speed and the cooldown recovery. No, we don't. We we already have potions up and ready. We have the potions. Shadow Stalker Trickster Assassin. Assassin, nice. 2.2 of attack damage is leached as health after dealing a crit strike for 5 seconds. Perfect. And we have the Synergy 7 going on. Now we're just waiting for one more event. One in Cleric. Ask for a blessing for 50 coins. Blessing of protection. Um, rob the cleric. You don't really trust the cleric. However, he might have some valuables. I might do this. Cleric in trouble. Left the wounded scared. Heal my wounds. No, I'm going with rob him. Yolo it. Mm, do you hear something? 71 gold. He's none the wiser. He doesn't even know because I'm an assassin, man. So that's just free money. Okay. But without XP. I would have gotten the same money anyway. Let's see how much money we get from fights. From 718. Because if the fight gives you more money than the event, obviously the fight's better because it also gives you XP. They give me 40 coins. So the cleric gave me more money. I'm going here. Let's go. We had this fight previously. I think we got this. Chance to block. It doesn't matter. I'm just assassinating. Whoa. They bring us down, but we heal so much. I just hope I'm not going to explode, man. And we know that explosion is a thing in this game. Because I know that opponents do like 300 damage later. We definitely need max life in general. 
Uh, we know that because I did the run with the um, warrior and I had a thousand life and I got a three three hundred damage hit at some point. So we need to keep in mind that max health is very important. Trickster again, store max mana, Blood Reaper is here, that's also part of the build. So, uh, 40 percent increase attack damage over time, that's every attack, and 0 0.6 damage release just life, that's even more healing. Upgrade the crit. So this is 14 mana now. So on the spell book, it says 10 mana. and uh, So this is 10 mana and 6.4 cooldown. Let's take this. 11 mana, 6.4 cooldown. Okay, so it does actually go up. Uh, okay, this is only fights, but this is what I actually want. We're gonna go here, forge, and I would say we go with um, max health and resistances. Nice. Now we're gonna get a legendary weapon, hopefully, because otherwise I'm gonna reroll. Nice, we found a weapon here. Lightning damage, lightning resistance, increase lightning damage per lightning resistance. Other choices, strength, gain physical damage, as extra fire damage, increase fire damage by 1 per strength. 5 strength means damage, by the way. The strength is 2.5 damage, so this is like 12.5 damage and 20% damage as extra fire and fire damage per strength. I like this. Health region, nature resistance, regenerate health per nature resistance. Uh, I would say flat damage plus lightning related stuff. Yeah, let's go flat damage plus lightning related stuff. And let's upgrade. Rich strike, multiplier, max health, increase mana region, that's very nice. Maximum health, evasion, shadow resistance, dexterity, that's also really nice. Armor, cold resistance, fire resistance, shadow resistance, decent-ish. Evasion, maximum health, maximum energy, maximum 7 to everything. We're gonna go here and here. It doesn't say elemental, it says elemental resistance, yeah. Is elemental resistances and all resistances a different thing? I think... What is this? Oh, they actually added the ability for you to know what you got. Awesome. Good job, Dev. Good job, Dev. Let me see my equipment for a moment. So this says, to all resistances, ah, I see, all resistances is different from elemental resistances, ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, max health armor evasion, I do enjoy this, yeah, that's simple, let's uh, roll, nice, I found the damage weapon before we went away, so parry attacks, physical attacks, strength and nature damage to attacks, I like that, activity and max mana, I'm gonna definitely buy this, uh, all mental resistance, max energy shield and intelligence, not really, nature resistance, crit strike chance, regenerate health, inflect, Excel block chance. I'm gonna say dex and max mana if I have the money. I have the money. Let's keep the 150. Uh, I would like to get dice though. So let's maybe throw away one of these and get a dice and drink the dice. And we go to nice leave. Go. Off into the elite fight. Let's fight. Easy fight. Easy enough fight that is. Ching, chung, ching, chung, ching. I'm still for life. And my resistances at this point are. Uh, we are safe from lightning. We are very dangerous on these ones, but we got this. Maybe I should have gone with the thing that says all resistances plus nature. Uh, let's upgrade, I would say, this one. Wait, I wanted one of the crit things. Crit, crit, no. Maybe one of the weapons. These are not, but this one. Yeah, let's go with this one. I got, I'm gonna get damage, strength, and parry and everything. Yeah, nice. So that's a bunch of damage. Event. Oh, it's just a fight. Okay. Who cares? Nature resistance, old resistance, armor, and whatnot. Yeah, it's just the cultist. Like, who cares? Duelist, alchemist, alchemist. Uh, I'm gonna roll. Blood Reaper, here we go. So, 10% chance to restore 1% max health on hit. Might as well, and we go into a Blood Reaper 6, which is 10% chance to bleed, 2% of attack leashes us health. Very nice. I'm gonna go flame. We're gonna upgrade a thing. I would say let's upgrade the dexterity, max health, evasion, shadow resistance. Yep, might as well, it's just a bunch of stats. And off we go, we should easily have this guy, as we have all of the guys. Yeah, look at him, he not, he's not even doing anything to us. What is this aspect of Nightmare buff? 3D armor, 3D armor, resistance, nature, shadow, freeze, yeah, whatever, he's dead. <laughs> just destroyed, Varthus, the city of the dead. Okay, so I have to pick up uh, my girlfriend from the uh, airport, so I have to pause right now, and then I don't know when I'm gonna come back, this might be after an hour, this might be after two hours, three hours, five hours, maybe my voice is different, maybe I even forget what's happening for the rest of the run, but uh, I'm coming right back up, this is most likely gonna get edited out anyway, and uh, then, yeah, it's gonna be a new shift new <laughs> coming right back up and i'm back this is one full day later <laughs> things happen actually along the way anyway let's actually continue here we're gonna do this path i would say 
I'm, I'm, I don't even remember where the recording was, but we're gonna go this bottom path, there are a bunch of fights here, and then we're gonna go like the double fight here, we're gonna avoid the flame, and we're gonna fight the elite, and then we're gonna go money fight, and then double event here, and then at the end here, we're gonna go like that. So then we're not gonna go through a shop, I think we're already busted enough to break everything, uh, I believe so. And uh, yeah, let's actually see the first fight as always is the uh, giveaway as to are we able to get this, and I think we are very much able to get this, I didn't even lose life. We got our assassin, we got assassin 8, so we found all the assassin passes, very nice. So we're gonna now get 1% crit multiplier and 0.1% crit chance after dealing a crit. Stacking definitely, uh, infinitely. 18% increased attack speed and 5% crit strike chance if target is below half health. Okay, so we're in assassination ability. We're gonna upgrade. Um, I'm, I, as I said, this is one day later. So, okay, we're gonna upgrade, obviously, the crit chance here to even more. And let's continue on with a money fight. Let's go. We should be more and more powerful. This guy got retaliation and damage and this and that and this and that. Yeah, they're not even able to do anything to us. We are still healing like crazy and we even have leech now and HP regen and life on hit and everything that makes us completely mortal as much leech lord. Let's see how much damage he does to us. Nothing. Not enough to get us. Not even remotely close enough to get us. We're bleeding them. We're poisoning them. We're healing like crazy. I think we're pretty much immortal at this point from the crazy healing we have. I mean, the only way we are dying is if somebody does 300 damage in one hit. And even then, we might be fast enough to heal before he they kill us. Trickster Alchemist or Alchemist. Uh, I mean, slowly I should just invest into whatever. Uh, Master of Poison. 25% increase in damage after poison enemy. 2% maximum mana on dodge. Uh, I would like to reroll these, but honestly, we are an Alchemist anyway. The internal percent physical damage does extra nature damage and increase mana regen rate. This seems to do more damage than this. Uh, so I'm gonna take this. 12% of my physical damage becomes extra nature. That's just 12% more damage, pretty much, as nature. Now, if opponents have nature resistant, then that means less, but otherwise, it's just more damage, straight up. Uh, I don't need to reroll anymore, I think. I got the full assassin tree, which was the important one. I mean, the full blood tree would also be important, but I don't think it gets any indefinite or infinite stacking things. This is new. A fair amount of dice reroll. 15 resolve. I want to take greedy, but I'll take a couple of these dice. Small amount of dice reroll. And resolve a lot of dice. 20 resolve. I'm, I'm throwing away. A chance to get a good side of fate. I'll take as many as you can give me. Yeah, we're doing this. Let's see. From 4 we go up to... How the fate decides. 5. Okay. I mean, I don't need uh, life anyway. We're not losing any fight. Let's go. XP fight here. This guy has a 3% physical damage. Just shadow. Yeah, we got this easily. He also has uh, resistances. No, look at our healing, man. It's through the roof. It's through the roof. I just need more max life. And uh, we're gonna avoid the flames, as I said. We're just going fights, so we get more passives. Uh, getting levels and passives is extremely important, as we gain attack speed damage and a bunch of random stats through that. Oh, that was a big hit. Still want him. Trickster, trickster, or trickster evasion while below half health. 35% at that. Um, I would enjoy this. On dodge, stack so dodging is just attack speed. Okay, we're gonna go through 5% evasion while below half health, so we don't explode. Upgrade ability, we're gonna go crits, and this now has the three choices. Let's compare it to what we have. So we have 80% crit chance for 5 seconds. Uh, a cooldown of 8, I guess. What are the choices here? We get 25%, 25% crit chance. This is already most likely the best choice. Um... 18% crit strike, mol chance, and 15% multiplier. 18% crit strike chance and 10% increase attack speed. Uh, we're gonna go with 25% crit chance. What's my crit chance right now? 18. Yeah, we're gonna go with a 25% crit strike chance. Just simple, clean, busted. Fight again. We'll start speeding up these fights. Uh, we are in no danger whatsoever. What's my crit chance now, though? 50 56%. Okay, not even 100% right now. Not even 100%. With 100% crit chance, what are we doing? Uh, damage. 5 strength. Gain physical damage. as extra fire damage. And increase fire damage per strength. We had that. This is what we actually want. So 5% crit strike chance. 1% of attack damage. Leech as health per 7.5 crit strike chance. So that's a lot of healing. I mean, at 70... It's 10% healing. 10% lifesteal at 75% crit chance. That's it. And 20% attack speed. That's godlike. And this is um, also insane. Evasion, 1% of max energy shield per 4 evasion. Restore 2% of max energy shield on dodge. That's also really good, but we're going to obviously go with a crit dagger, as we are an assassin crit build anyway. Let's go and now destroy this elite. The difference should be huge. What's my crit strike chance now? Still 56, 61 now that he's at half health. 62, 69, 38. Yeah, we lost the buff there for a second. 
Uh, increase damage. We're gonna take that. Duelist. That's the parry boy. That's the one thing I don't care about. Target tempting attacks. I don't care. Uh, Shadow Stalker is most likely the next thing we're gonna go. Oh, Duelist is the last one. Duelist is the thing we're gonna leave at the very end. Even if it gives us 2% increased attack speed after parrying. Like, I, I don't care. Uh, increase to dodge attack. Chance to dodge an attack and 8% increased mana regeneration rate while shielded. We don't have shielding. Increase cooldown recovery rate and maximum mana. Uh, I guess. I mean, I would like to roll away these choices. Duelist, Shadow Stalker, Duelist. Same things. Let's roll one more time. Trickster, Duelist. I'm gonna go Trickster as my next one. 20% chance to gain 28% increased evasion on hit for 4 seconds. Okay, that's a decent amount. I'm gonna also get 18 evasion, 18% uh, evasion. Yeah, we're gonna go here. So we're gonna start going the evasion route. Uh, I would say we go money event event, uh, money fight event event instead of going event fight event. It's it's like just the straight up better version here, the money version. I'm level 21 and they're 19, so we're outscaling pretty much everybody. Uh, let's speed this up. I got an achievement of having 150% evasion. What's 150% evasion? 64% uh, chance to evade. Okay, we're very up there on survivability now. Did I just get the chest from an event? Okay, events are broken. Events are actually broken. I take everything back. Events are insane. Dex evasion, max health. This is an insane one. Uh, intelligence, max energy shield and energy on spell. Or who cares? Maximum health, chance to block attacks and heal on block. Now we're going evasion, max health and... Um, I didn't even remember what the first one was. So that's how fast. Ignore the light. This light seems menacing and you want nothing to do with it. You should leave. Approach the light. You feel the allure of this searing light and you want to know what secrets the get. Yeah, we're going with this. Uh, I lost 22 resolve for 1000 XP. Always worth it. Always worth it. Uh, I don't care about life. You only lose life if you lose a fight, so who cares? Honestly, who cares? Uh, max health, increased mana region, and Chris Rack multiplier. That's decent. Dex max mana. Uh, I mean, I would like to level up some kind of offensive thing, but I don't think we have any other weapons. Ah, uh, this is one more damage on both ends. Is that that worth it? Or just crit damage? Let's go double crit damage. Ah. Let's go. And this is the final fight. Let's go and fight this. Although this is floor 5, we're gonna go up to floor 10. Let's see how 10,000 life uh, bears against us, which we are literally here. Look at all the stacks. The buff of crit strike chances are 23 right now. We are attacking so fast. I have 2.50, look at this, my crit just goes up, now it goes down, and now it goes up again, 64%, and what is this, critical strike multiplier, 303, it just goes up and up and up, what is this, 9999, I'm doing insane crits, opponents has still not done a single thing to us, we got the buff up to 81, very nice, and alchemist again I would say here, uh, what are we going for this, 50% chance to apply minus 1 inch resistance, that's not really that crazy, this gives us attack damage, leech just energy shield, increase maximum energy shield per 1 dexterity, 1%, Increase attack speed per one intelligence. What? The final version is what I'm reading right now. Okay, intelligence gives us attack speed. Not that much though, but still. Uh, I'm gonna go with increased nature damage based on uh, when we poison an enemy. We're poisoning enemies anyway. And uh, we're gonna get 18 increased nature damage and chance to poison. So we're gonna even deeper into poison. I can't really upgrade an ability other than the starting one, which I don't care about. So we're gonna go new ability here. And I found the crit strike ability, Precision. Activates once, cast Nora that grants increased crit strike chance. And um, yeah, we're literally taking this. 5% flat crit chance and then 10% increased crit chance. Dodge and attacks when you cast it. And the strike an enemy inflicting weak. No, we're definitely going with the guaranteed crit chance. We're going endless mode. And now we have the aura of crit chance, which obviously is perfect. And we're gonna continue with this fight. So I'm gonna go this line. I want to go shopping for sure. And then like that. And then like this. And like that. And fights. Yeah, we found an only fight path. And one event at the end, just for good measure. Let's go and see what the endless. I mean, these guys have only. Oh. I was so sure that this is gonna be super safe. It doesn't feel super safe anymore. Uh, we will definitely need mana. So that's the alchemist, of course. Actually, no, alchem alchemist. Yeah, alchemist is mana. Restore 2.5 maximum mana after poisoning an enemy. If I can get that, we're done. Alchemist is here. Oh, a Shadow Stalker. Does this guy give us mana? No, this guy's his energy shield. So, Alchemist. Increase damage over time. Increase mana regeneration. Yes. Increase the skill effect duration and regenerate 0 0.5 max health per second. Mm, no, I mean, increase skill effect duration means the buffs last longer. So, I'm going to actually take this. Because the crit chance buff we have doesn't last forever. Is what I've started realizing. We have a thousand coins here. We need to go to a shop. To become insane. We're obviously not even losing life, as always. Uh, this guy seems to, whenever they have a shield, they actually don't explode right away. Easy win. Easy win. Off to the next fight for even more money. We're closing into the shop. 4,000 life. Yeah, easy enough. 
He's even blocking things. Look at all the buffs they have. Look at all the buffs they have. And they're gone. Off to the next one. We're just rushing through these. I don't even care what the potions are, honestly. Let's go fight. We're just rushing now. Let's also speed up the game. Whoop, 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 whoop. Block, block, block damage. What's my crit chance? 75% almost. Uh, found the bread. Let's see what the other choices that we have are. Grand damage and attack speed. Uh, I guess we're gonna go with the... I would like to drink both of these. Forget this, but next fight I'm gonna drink both to see how it looks like. Alchemist. We're gonna take the 6 energy, restore max mana when poisoning an enemy. And this also says increase damage over time and increase mana regen rate. So we should have infinite mana now. Upgrade the crit chance, obviously. We're gonna only upgrade the crit chance from here on out. Um, I would say... Do I need to go shopping? I got another fight and I can still go like this. No, I want to go shopping. We have so much money. Let's now become a bit more busted. Intel, cooldown recovery rate, strength. I mean, I guess might as well. Intel is mana or mana region. Max health. Regenerate one health per second. Giant's belt. That's just, This is literally from um, Path of Exile. 17 max health. Reflect two physical damage attackers when hit. And 16 cold resistance. I'm taking this. Maximum mana, fire resistance, maximum mana. Not really. Chance to block whatever. No. What is this? Physical damage and chance to bleed. I mean, might as well. Intelligence, increase cooldown recovery. Yeah, might as well. It seems worth it. Let's roll here. Uh, here we go. This is good. Crit strike chance, maximum mana is useless. Nature and resistance, okay. Max health, cold resistance, shadow resistance. I'm gonna take that. All the elemental resistance, attack speed, max health, and nature resistance. That's very much a yes. Health, all elemental resistance, shadow. That's also very much a yes. Uh, this is not really that much of a yes. I mean, I'm gonna still buy it for 90. It's pretty cheap. Max health and blocking, health on dodge, increase nature resistance. I'm gonna roll here. Although they got dice, so let's definitely. I would like to drink both of these for the memes. Let's throw this out. Give me the dice. And let's roll uh, one more time. Here we go. This is what I wanted. And I got the money for it. So this gives us chance to parry, physical attack, crit strike multiplier, fire damage, and nature damage. That should give us an insane amount of stats. I would like to see this. 22 to 41. A man with their... With 22 to 41? With the fighter had like 160 or something. Vision armor lightning resistance cold or crit strike multiplier all mental increase mana region. What's my defenses at? 76, 76, 50 on the fire, 52, 52 on the shadow. Okay, we're slowly getting everything up and running. Yeah, I'm still gonna take this though. Uh, so 22 to 41, 24 to 48. Okay, I mean, this guy, we haven't gotten a lot of damage multipliers, so that's why uh, this is how it is right now. Because with the um, fighter, I had like a million damage multipliers. And oh, let's. Uh, it's too late for the potion on the next fight, on the next fight. Is there an elite fight on the road? I'm gonna drink that on the elite fight. Uh. Yeah, there's a need fight here. I'm gonna drink all the potions in the fight. Let's go for the memes. We're gonna just drink both increase attack damage and increase attack speed. Do, 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 just to see how busted we're gonna go. 100 damage. We are doing... Oh, we got this again. Uh, I want to see if those stacks. I'm gonna drink them both. Uh, let's definitely forge. And I'm gonna forge the weapon, I would say. Boom. Just a bunch more damage overall. The next thing I should forge is this, by the way. A bunch of elemental resistance and attack speed. That's a really, really, really good uh, piece. Uh, there should be a level here. This lasts for 7.4 rate for 7.5 seconds, yeah. And this for 5 seconds. Well, I have buff duration up anyway. Um, we got max health per second for 3 seconds. I'm gonna so need to say no. Alchemist again. Chance to poison. What's Shadow Stalker? Uh, shielding. Increase shadow damage and 4% of shadow damage leads just life. Chance to poison, increase maximum mana. 50% uh, apply target minus 1 inch resistance on hit stacking indefinitely. Mm, that's also good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go Alchemist. Full on Alchemist. Let's go here. We're gonna take more and more damage from poison anyway. Okay, let's see what the choice is. Intelligence, max mana, max mana. No dexterity, that's good. Crit strike chance, good. Attack speed, really good. This is really good. Shadow chass. And uh, energy shield, one. No, no, no. We're going with crit chance and the rest. Let's go the below path. More and more fights means more and more levels. The only good thing that the event has is free chests, which is good. It's really good. Or uh, the, the guy that trains you and gives you just free stats. That's also really good. Okay, here I'm gonna do a drink. Drink. And just for training, I'm gonna also drink this to see if it double buffs. It doesn't double buff. So that was a waste. And these buffs last longer than they said because I have the increased buff duration. And this should last 7.5 seconds. It should actually last 9. This left should 5 at 6. This should be 10. It's 12. Uh, let's see how this guy explodes. I want to see my stats before we even do anything. 3 attacks per second. Um, yeah, I mean, let's actually see this fight and our stats go up. Ooh, 80% crit chance. This guy's gone. Wow, this was a times one speed, by the way. Let's go here. 
Yeah, look at all the buffs we, like, instantly get. And this thing stacks extremely fast. This stacks faster than what we attack because we do multi-crits. Because I'm attacking with fire, ice, lightning, and whatnot. And all of those do crits a lot of times. Here we go. Bonus 6. We found the Blood Ranger. 1.8% of attack damage leached us health. Really good. And uh, we're going for that. 50% increased health from restore, uh, restored from leech. Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, we, we go that. Upgrade ability. We're going to go crit chance. Until my crit chance becomes 100. Uh, I'm not forced to go event. Yeah, we're going money. Uh, I mean, I'm avoiding events still. Let's destroy this guy as fast as possible. We have 483 life right now, so we're super safe. I realized that I should go with the Shadow Stalker to get the shielding up and running. That's what I just realized. And here I would like to go with Insane Resistances, Elemental, Attack Speed, Max Health, and Nature. Can I see the difference here in action? So I press this button and from 50, 76, 76, 52, 52. Wait, what? Okay, 53, 56, 76, 76, 56, 52. So 76 is the maximum. Normally it's 75. I don't have that relic. Uh, this guy really should not really have it. Oh, that was a big hit though. But we're still alive all, full life all the time. Yeah, he's even missing us so much. What's my missed dodge chance? 62%, pretty high. We got the bread. Off into the next zone. Off into the next zone. Am I recording? Yes, I am. We're gonna go, I would say, classic, a bunch of fights path and a shop here and then even more fights. One event and then flame, 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 flame. I, I enjoy this path. Uh, there are also maybe other paths that might be a smidge better, but... No, I enjoy the above path, I just realized. Mm, yeah, let's go the above path. I don't think there was that much of a better uh, pathing. I'm still waiting for the opponents to do like 300 damage to us. Trickster, Shadow Stalker, or Trickster. I mean, once again, Trickster is evasion mainly, and Shadow Stalker is shielding. And I start believing shielding is the play. Uh, restore 2% of maximum mana on dodge. Maximum on dodge, increase attack speed on dodge, stack definitely. Now we're going here. If I dodge, I gain attack speed. I think that's also a really good play in general to keep in mind. Like, if I, if I max out the dodge thing, we're going to start gaining attack speed through that. My attack speed is already through the roof. It's already 3.3. Just getting more and more and more is better. Also, every single hit I do heals us. Every single hit I do leeches. Like, we're getting so much value out of that. I'm going to go to the above shop anyway. We don't need to go to this below shop. Man, I, I, I so much enjoy that we're getting multiple crits uh, on all my things. And this goes up by 29. 30. It goes up like by 3 per attack. 40% to all resistances. Pretty useless for us. We're almost capped out on resistances anyway. Might as well drink it, whatever. No, oh, I'm super capped. Yeah, 76 on everything. Doesn't matter though. Only fire can damage us, to be honest. Shadow Stalker's here. Duelist and Trickster. Restore 6 health on dodge. Or 25% uh, increase shadow damage and shadow leech does life. Uh, I'm gonna go still Trickster. Full on Trickster. Upgrade ability. Let's go crit chance. Let's continue. Ready up. What's my crit chance right now? 48. I don't think it's 48. 70, 80, 83. That's my actual crit chance. 84%. I think we're going to be able to get the 90% at the very end. I think... Well, maybe even the 100. 100's a bit hard. Oh, that was a big hit we got there. I have 506 health though, so we're still gaining health. But we are getting big hits from opponents hitting us. Let's get some upgrades now. Uh, Dex, max mana, max health. I would say yeah to that. Intelligence, no... Crit multiplier, no. The chance to bleed, add cold to attack, and also, yeah, that's nice. Evasion, evasion, and fire resistance. Is fire resistance not my main issue? Yeah, fire resistance is my main issue, so I definitely buy this. Very nice. What is this? Health per second, 10. Wow, I'm healing 10 per second. Nice. I still resolve. Oh, I can buy resolve? I didn't realize that. Well, we're gonna buy dice for sure. Let's also drink it right away. That was definitely worth it. We just got three out of that. Uh, max health, regen, and reflect attacks per hit. Not really. Let's roll into some kind of weapon, honestly. We have 204, so I can buy at least one thing. Max health strength, which is damage, and trick strike chance, which is really good. Uh, evasion, dex, and whatever. No, I think we're gonna go max health, crit strike chance, and mana region. Who cares? Crit strike chance. Ah, the mask is crit strike chance. Okay, that's good to know. I should pay attention to the mask. Tier 5, even. Uh, 11 max health. This is also really good. I don't have enough for both. But I do prefer the... Um, yeah, I do prefer the strength, max health, and 1.8 crit chance instead of 2.8 crit chance and 11 max health. Is that true, though? 
Yeah, strength deals damage. Let, let's be pragmatic about this. Let's also take this. Let's also see from 8 we go up to 11. Another high roll on the dice. I'm telling you, just go always dice. Let's quickly fight. 8,000 life. What the, 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 the fight? Fight, 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 fight. Okay, we have infinite mana, by the way. Literally. So maybe I should get a new spell. Uh, all resistances, whatever. Shadow Stalker, Duelist, Duelist. I'm gonna just take the Shadow Stalker. Gain 2% of physical damage as extra shadow damage after casting a spell or ability for 10 seconds. Stacking up to 15 times. That is a really good damage boost we just got there. And these, by the way, cast us spells. So we instantly begin with 3, 4 up encroaching darkness. So I'm also doing shadow damage now. Which means that I'm, I can crit on the shadow damage we do. Which means I can get multiple crits again. Strength max health and restore health when taking crit. When when taking a crit. Freeze max health, regenerate part of your max health. Intelligence max energy and 3% chance to block spells. Hmm. I mean, I would like to get something else. This is good. I'm gonna roll for something else. This looks awesome. Okay, this is what I want. Twin assassin blades. Physical damage, nature damage, and dexterity. Yeah, straight up. Mana related things. I don't know. We're taking this. <laughs> We are literally taking the thing that is built for the class. Let's forge. Uh, I would like to upgrade this thing, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I want to upgrade. Because once again, it gives us crit chance. That's the main idea on everything. I just want crit chance. Oop. And let's continue. Uh, event? Yes, the night. That was obvious. No, I don't have the money again. <laughs> uh, we're going to pay 60 to get some free stats. Max health and 10 to all elemental resistances. Very nice. Very nice. That's the best event in the game. Forge again. This time I'm gonna go with... All resistance shadow. No. Dexterity. No, that's a... Dexterity, max health, max mana. Not really. Multiply nature resistance. No. Maximum health. I don't think so. Dexterity. That's a treasure. I think the old items aren't that important. Crush strike. Multiply 21%. Okay. Max health and mana region. I guess crit strike multiplier is the play. Did I get previously something better, like, closely? Oh, I could take this, all mental resistance, max health. Although I don't think I need those either, this is a treasure. Crit strike multiplier, mental resistance, oh, this is 1.7. This is, uh, which one's that this is? Didn't I have one that gave us attack speed and whatnot? Oh, that, that's it, yeah, that's not upgradable. The chance, evasion. My memory is very hazy. Oh, 3 dexterity and evasion and whatnot. Uh, 21% crit strike multiplier. Oh, we're taking this. 27. Let's go. My crits are doing insane damage, by the way. Like, non crits 35, 41. Uh, crits 154, 156. 300, 277. They're on the nature one. Wow. Crits do insane damage. We're gonna continue forging. You know what? Let's just take this. No, that's a treasure. Uh, I guess dex. Let's strike chance, we're going for the chance. Max mana and nature resistance, very weak other stats though. The boss should melt. The boss should definitely melt. 48, 51%. 80%, 323 damage. 86%, 87, 300, 400, 340 damage. Um, uh, we're gonna go Shadow Stalker, honestly. 12% max energy shield, 12% max mana. And uh, we're gonna into the, and then also 80% max energy shield and shadow resistance. Let's go into that and upgrade. The crits, 7 crit strike chance and 12% increased crit strike chance multiplier pretty much. Uh, so the one choice is 80% crit strike chance and 10% multiplier and crit strike damage. No. Uh, this is attack speed and this is 10% crit strike chance and 15% increased strike chance multiplier. Uh, I I'm gonna go with this. I want higher crit strike chance. I don't want attack speed. I don't want crit strike damage. I want uh, crit strike chance. I want to try to get 100% crit strike chance if I can do that. So that's pretty important to me. So that's what we're gonna invest into. Uh, I'm seeing a top path already. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, yes, yes. Fight again, fight again. Yep, only fights at the top. I enjoy that. Off you go. I don't even check the rest. Who cares? Let's go. 300 crits. Look at this. 92%. Oh, we're getting to the 100, man. We're getting to the 100. That's what I want, man. I want the 100% chance to crit. Oh, the opponents are exploding us too, by the way. 92% chance to crit. Nice. <clears throat> Which, I mean, I enjoy so much that we're getting the buffs. Like, look at this going up. 9, 10, 11, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 24, 26. Like, it, it skips numbers because we're getting multiple crits. 
Shadow Stalker is the next enemy. So 3% of maximum energy shield on dodge. Increase. Uh, yeah, we're going into that slowly. Shadow Stalker. Increase recovery rate and increase max mana. No. 35 chance to gain one max over hit. Over guard on hit. Over guard. No, that's shield. Deal physical damage. Go through some of your attack damage. Gain maximum over guard after repairing attack. Increase attacks without repairing attack. And definitely chance to gain maximum over guard on hit. No, we're going here. Increase maximum energy shield per dex. Increase attack speed for intelligence. What are these stats, by the way? We have 79 dexterity and 13 intelligence. Okay, that's going to be 13% attack speed at the very end. Let's go. Uh, whoop. This guy is doing something to us. No, he's not. We're shielding very slowly. We don't have any shield gain. It would be nice to have some kind of shield gain on attack. Whoa, that was a big hit. Whoa, this guy is actually doing half of our life and damage, but he's dying in one hit. Blood Re Reaper, final version. 50% increased health from Leech. 12% chance to bleed and 5% max health. That's nice. This is 12% to all elemental resistances. I'm taking this and we're gonna get a new ability as I just got the final passive. This is too late. 16% to all resistances and 16 to nature and shadow. Uh, I think this is completely useless for us at this point. So let's just get us some kind of spell. Corrosive Strike. Strike the target dealing physical damage and reducing your target's nature resistance by 20%. Strike the target dealing 16 physical damage and inflicting weak, reducing their damage dealt by 15%. I mean, I prefer reducing their nature resistance. Uh, I would also like to know what exists, but uh, let, let's take this. Let's just take the reduce the opponent's nature resistance. I don't think it really matters anyway. Like, we're not using the spells. And the resistance is definitely... The, the aura is not needed. Like, we're literally only missing a little bit of fire, a little bit of nature. I wouldn't really I like getting another aura for that. If anything, casting more spells is better because we have a thing that says when we cast spells, we gain uh, encroaching darkness. This thing. So we gain more damage. The opponents just explode, by the way. Uh, let's heal. Nah. Anything that gives us crit chance. Do I even have anything that gives us crit chance? Ah, let's get the damage. Just get the damage, the flat damage up. This guy's gonna give us some dice on death. So we have 10 right now. Ooh, he's exploding, man. And we just got 13, very nice. Duelist, chance to gain max overguard on hit. That's really good in general. Trickster is here, and uh, Shadow is here. Uh, ethereal Dance. 8% chance to dodge attacks, 18% increased mana regenerate rate while shielded. Have at least one energy shield. Do I have? Oh, uh, the tier 6 says 2.5 attack damage, leech has energy shield. And we have leech, things are better. So 50% uh, better. So that means like... I'm not gonna do the math right now. We found damage. Dexterity, cool damage to attacks per 5 dexterity. Insane. Insane. And 15% increase attack speed. We found something insane, man. Can I see the difference here or somewhere? So where's my cold damage? Cold damage is 4 to 6. So let's see. 4 to 6 and 3 to 5. 26 to 52. Insane buff. 3 to 5 to 5. This, is, this was an insane buff right there. Uh, yeah, we're going to continue with fights. Oh, and we got also an attack speed boost. What's my attack speed at this point? It's uh, almost 4 attacks per second and almost arms and attacks crit damage. We're gonna go here. As practically we don't really have items I care about. My energy shield is maxed. He didn't even hit us yet. He hit us just once there at the very end. Good job opponents. Good job opponents. They do almost nothing man. Opponents are unable to touch us. Oh that was almost a death. Ooh, we're about to die. If he hits us again we're dead boy. Oh we survived. That was almost a one shot. That was almost a one-shot. We need armor, man. What is this? Resistances? Who cares? Damage. Man, that was almost a one-shot. We're gonna die, guys. This is... Uh, the game is ending slowly. Uh, I guess I would say gain over... I, I need to go into parrying, man. Chance to parry attacks and whatnot. We need to start getting shielding. Shadow Stalker, what does this guy do in general? Leech does energy shield. Maybe I need to go into this. Uh, increase mana and increase cooldown recovery, increase evasion and energy shield. We're gonna go increase energy shield. Ooh, that was a one shot almost. Ooh. Uh, uh, let's go with less nature resistance. I should have died there, man. That was insane. Okay, we parried a couple of things. Man, I think we're gonna just explode. I mean, exploding doesn't matter because we still have more resolve to survive. So we're not gonna lose instantly. 
But, uh, yeah, we're gonna explode. Um, do I have something with max health, evasion, dexterity? I mean, this gives us dexterity. I'm buying this. Let's continue. Uh, boss should kill us in one hit, to be honest. If the previous fights can kill us in one hit, then the boss should definitely kill us in one hit. Doesn't seem to be able to. I have 663 life. My main issue is that I don't have armor. Yeah, physical damage reduction 15%. The lack of armor is my worst thing. I need to go buy from the shop some armor pieces. We have only 18. If I just buy like 50 armor from the shop, that's enough. So let's go shopping twice, I would say. Double shop. Then we go up, double event, and then we go like this, events of... No, I don't want to go this many events. I want to go into one shop. There is a shop here, but I can't really go there without going into another shop or going into triple event. Triple event shop, and then just fights, 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 fights until the end of time, and one more event. Yeah, we're going to go that. Let's go... Not even triple event. We're just going to go double... Double event? Yeah, double event. So let's go this pathing. The first fight's going to be the big difference maker. This guy should explode us. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, I'm afraid. Xing shong, xing shong, xing shong, xing shong, got him. Uh, Duelist Shadow Stalker. 0.3% of attack damage leached as mana and 12% shadow resistance while shielded. And that's going to give us the bonus of 6, which is 2.5% of attack damage leached as energy shield. So we're going here, and now we should be healing energy shield pretty fast and reliable. Alchemist is the most useless event. Let's go. Done. Uh, off to the fight. Let's see, now I should be healing energy shield. Yeah, I am healing energy shield very fast even. Nice and exploded. Uh, all resistances, who cares? Off to the money fight, we're rushing towards the shop now. If I can build up my armor, we are super safe. Like that's, uh, that's it. I just need to get some armor. I have 18 right now. If I can bring this up to 20, uh, to 60, we're done. Just double or triple it. Uh, what did this give us the first time I want here? XP. We take this. Oh, it gave me something stupid. Flame touched. It gave us a buff. Nee, boring. What's the buff? Physical damage is extra fire. Who cares? So they can explode us. Damage. Let's go. Crits, 85. 92. 93. Do a less 20 35% chance to gain 1% of maximum overguard on hit. I think I wanna go this, but I said I'm not gonna go do a list. Trickster is a dodge thing. Increase evasion, increase all the mental resistances. And um attack speed on dodge is the thing we're going for. Actually, we're going for a restore max health on dodge right now. I think I want this shit thing. Maximum overguard. My maximum overguard right now is 713. So that's like I think 7 shielding, 35% chance to get 7 shielding. Upgrade ability, upgrade the thing that makes your points have less resistances. Let's go shopping, and I'm gonna buy armor. And armor, 6 max mana, resistance, that's a bit weak-ish. Reduce damage thing from bleeding, dexterity, increase mana region, not really. Dex and intel, that's a yes. Max health invasion and dex, also a yes. We're buying these, this is strength. And damage taken from crits, this is what I want. I don't want to get critted to death in one hit. And also the armor. Let's see the difference in defense from 15%. 22. That, that, that's a difference maker. Uh, let's roll away. I saw the dice. I don't want it right now. 11 armor, 15 evasion, and shadow resistance. Is shadow resistance the only thing that's left? Actually, no. It's nature. It's 1 point in nature and 3 points in fire. Uh, I'm going to still buy the 11 armor because this is literally what I said we need to buy. And uh, even more armor and fire resistance. And we're done with the fire resistance. And I now have 33% of the damage taken. So the difference is huge. Physical damage, nature damage. Obviously, we want damage. Chance to block lightning, no who cares. Damage and heal on hit. Okay. Uh, crit strike multiplier and physical. Max health nature. Dexterity and max health. Uh, maybe dexterity and max health, honestly. Because max health is also pretty important. And there are so many health multipliers that we got. I think I'm going to keep the money. Or the maybe event. Wait, am I, did I force myself into a second shop? No, I can go below. And then I'm going to force myself into a double event. Double event on this path, or shop and then this path. I'm not avoiding the double event. I think I took the wrong path. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Now I'm gaining shielding. 22, 30. Yeah, now I have shielding and energy gain. Now, now we're a lot more protected. Like, a lot more protected. Attack speed. No, we're gonna go with the damage version. Let's go. I wanna get a harm synchro chance. 
85. It's gonna become 90 in a moment. 92. What is this? All the week, yeah, because of half life. 94 is the maximum I'm getting right now. Oh, I can go below. Yeah, I, I actually took the correct path. Yep, we're gonna go single event at the very end. Let's see what we get. Legendaries. What is this? Evasion, max energy shield per evasion. And restore two max energy shield on dodging. That's nice. Strength, fire, uh, physical damage as fire, and fire damage per strength. I mean, that's good. That's a lot of damage. My strength is right now 32, so this is gonna give us a decent amount of damage. And maximum, atta maximum attack block chance. Chance to block attacks and increase damage per 2% block. What's my block chance? Chance to uh, chance to block attacks 15%, and this is gonna bring it up to 30%. Uh, no, I think we're gonna go with the evasion related things. Energy shield per four evasion because I have a million evasion, right? They have 250 evasion. This is what we go for, and then this is gonna give us so much max maximum energy shield. That's the important part because we have 36 maximum energy shield. This is a joke. We're taking this. 123 energy shield, just like that. That's actually really good because I have leeching as energy shield. Now I actually have a decent amount of overhealth. Whoa, that was a big hit. And look how fast we heal the sh the energy shield. Yeah, now we're transitioning over to having a bunch of energy shield. Forget the duelist. Gain 2% of maximum over guard after parrying an attack. 16% of parry attacks and 16% of mental resistance while guarded. Do I have a high parry chance? Chance to... Parry is low. Chance to parry is 32. Okay, damage reduction on parry is 35. On block is 50. So there are two different blocking mechanics. Evasion, increase evasion. I mean, I should go for this, honestly. If I take this, I get a 10% chance to parry attacks. Yeah, we're gonna go with even more into parrying. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Now I'm parrying. Yeah, we didn't explode right there. Yeah, I'm afraid. The only thing that we should be afraid of right now is exploding. 95, 90, 96% crit chance. So close to maximum. So close to maximum. Uh, elite fight, obviously. This guy got retaliation through physical retaliation on hit. Doesn't matter, we're healing so fast anyway. We lost attack speed? It feels like we lost attack speed. 95. 95%, let's go. 96. I mean, I can just drink the potion to get the 100, by the way. This thing gives you 25% crit strike chance. Uh, Alchemist. Alchemist 8, 50% chance to apply to the guard minus 1 nature resistance and 80% nature damage and 12% chance to poison. And we're done with that. Uh, upgrade the, this thing. Wants to do nature resistance. Event. Uh, I buy a bunch of dice. I, I, I don't think so. I'm interested, you can sell me a few dice for 10 resolve. 25 resolve is a bit too much, I think, because if we lose, we lose the game. I'm gonna buy a fair amount of dice. Three dice. Decent enough. With 30, I think I survive because the fight, I think, takes 20 left from you. Next flame, I would like I would like to heal at least once. Because I, we don't know when I'm going to get randomly get critted. None of the blocks are going to work and I just explode. So let's just be here. There. And let's drink this and see my crit chance. We got the 100%. We got the 100%, boys. We got the 100%. And now we're back to 97. And look at this. 69. Did you see that buff? 69 on the buff of crits. Nice, 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 nice. And let's now do the floor 10, which is the final floor. And then we're done. So I have a bunch of money. Oh, there this is pathing here is perfect. Da, 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 da. Shop. Da, 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 da. I go up, avoid the second shop. Bo, 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 bo. Down below, done, and done. Yep. I think that's what we're gonna do. Or avoid the first shop and then buy the go to the second one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna avoid the first shop and then go to the second one. That's what we're gonna do. Only fights at the bottom. Perfect pathing. Let's go. This is an assassin. This might explode us. I think I died. It looked like I died. It looked like I lost everything and then got everything back. You have so much shielding and so much energy. I really enjoy the over shielding and over healing we have going on here. And let's go one. Easy enough. Let's get a bread. And we didn't get a level, of course. Let's go XP fight. This is 35% more XP. This is a tank. Should be easy enough. He has a million defenses. Crits, 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 crits. There is nothing other than crits. Crits, 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 crits. 350% crit damage. Uh, max health, slowly healing. That's so irrelevant. We're healing so much on our own anyway. Bricks to 4, Shadowstalker 6. Uh, increase energy maximum gain per dexterity. That's gonna make us immortal. What does this give us? Attack speed on dodge. 
and do have this to see the shielding. Now we're getting Shadow Stalker, 8% increased recovery rate and increased mana regen. And we're going for the bonus of 7, which doesn't do anything. But we're waiting for the bonus of 10 to hit. Boom. Uh, bonus of 8, actually. Uh, 52 shielding. Is that my maximum? 875 is my maximum. I'm never gonna get the 875. Just to be clear. Let's go next fight. Literally impo impossible. Man, I really enjoy that we're getting multiple crits and therefore we're gaining multiple stacks of this. Trickster, Trickster, and Shadow Stalker. And we fought, maxed out the Shadow Stalker. So 25% increased Shadow Damage and 4% of Shadow Damage leads us health. And also at 8, we get increased Maximum Energy per Dexterity and increased Attack Speed per Intelligence. So uh, my Dexterity is 106 and my Intelligence is 20. So we're going to see the attacks per second from 3.46 and the 123 here. Let's see. Let's see. 231 and 3.61. Very nice. And we're going to obviously upgrade ability. I got a Achievement, get 150% Maximum. And we got this. So let's see what the choices are. So from 75 physical damage and 26% less resistance on the opponents, we get a 30% less resistance and 70% damage, 30% less resistance and 85% damage, 30% resistance and 60% damage. Okay, so there are other things that I obviously am not reading. Uh, these are literally the same, right? What's the difference between these? Oh, this says critical strike chance plus 20% at the very top. And this thing says, uh, I'm not seeing the difference. It says lingering poison. It's for six seconds. Yeah, this lasts for six seconds. That's the difference. But with the cooldown of five, lasting for six seconds is relevant because these don't even last four seconds. Uh, they last more as I have an increase on debuffs and buffs. So this is useless as the cooldown is definitely the same as the duration on these two. Uh, and this is the worst one anyway. So we either go with the... Um, and reducing the... take. Yeah, we either go with uh, crit strike chance or with 85% of my damage done. I'm gonna go with a crit strike chance. Actually, what am I talking about? We have 95% crit chance. We're going with, we do 85% damage. Why would I ever go with a thing that gives us even more of nothing? Right, let's go. Yeah, and this buff here lasts 4 seconds. And you're gonna see, is this buff gonna run out? It didn't run out. The opponent died before it did. But I want to actually see if the opponent survives. I'm not even looking at my own health here. I want to see if this... Um, Corrosive Strike. And... Nope, it's still here. Yep, Corrosive Strike actually definitely is a permanent effect on the opponents. Also, I have a thing here that says opponents' nature resistance is zero. Yeah, 0% zero nature resistance. This deadly poison, it says. And also, the opponent has right now minus 25, 28 stacks, 32 stacks of less resistance. Like, the opponents do not have nature resistance. Only Trickster is left. And of course, Duelist. Evasion, increased evasion. Uh, evasion to all element resistances, max health, and chance to dodge spells. Oh, we take this. Chance to dodge spells, it is. Uh, and we got an... Looks like an elite. Azamar Lich Lord. Uh, he missed the spell. We dodged the spell. Look at that. The shield is stopping at 53. I guess not. It just happened to stop there. We have up to 1,000 that we can gain. All resistances. Who cares? Off to another fight. 28,000 health on the opponent over here. Nature resistance per stacks and whatnot. Nature resistance is no, no, easy enough. Harried. I just saw that. Can I get a guaranteed? Oh, we're almost. Oh, we almost had 100 there without any buffs and anything. Uh, we're definitely going shopping. Definitely going shopping because we're about to end this. I'm going to get the crit through the shopping or through this one. Fire damage and whatnot. Health regeneration, nature resistance, more health regeneration. Yeah. Increase max mana. And gain mana based on intelligence. This is very, very useless. As all these. Oh, I found the strength and damage, etc. Roy found the attack block and whatnot. You know what? I would like to see if I can find anything else other than this. Because it's just damage. I want to see if there is anything insanely unique that I haven't seen. Because if you see at the bottom it says not collected yet. And not collected yet. That means I'm seeing them. I might have seen them, but I never took them. Let's see if there is something. Health regen... Yeah, the block thing. The mana thing again. What is this? Even more fire damage. Strength once again. Blocking. I'm gonna roll my rolls away. It's not like we need them. Health again. Hammer again. I think these are it. I'm seeing the same thing again and again. Maximum health and fire and max. And gain added fire attack damage equal to your maximum health. Yeah, these are just it. 
Yeah, I'm just seeing the same. So let's buy the fire damage, whatever. Actually, let's buy something I haven't gotten. Yeah, let's buy... Not the max mana. Let's buy the blocking. Whatever. Increase damage based on block. Let's see this. Yeah, let's see this. Okay. My block now is... 30%. I mean, might as well have some block chance, right? Let's go here and see what we can get. A merchant. What is this? Shadow resistance and reduced duration of fear. Who cares? Uh, crit strike multiplier and dex. That's a yes. Dex also gives us a thing. A crit strike chance. We buy this. And mana region. Who cares? Chance to ignite. This is new. 0.8% of attacks. Leech has health. This is also new. Okay, there are new weapons. It says not collected at the bottom. Evasion, nature resistance, and also not collected. I would like to buy this just to remove the not collected tag. So let's buy these for the not collected tag. Let's roll away. Uh, these are also not collected, and this is also not collected. So what is this? Physical attacks and chance to parry attacks. Rusty dagger. It's actually just a rusty dagger. Strength and age damage. You know what? No, I, I want to get my crit chance to arm sent. Then if these give crit chance... No, let's roll away. Use damage taken, fire intelligence, no, not collected. Dexterity, evasion, that's cool. Not collected? How is this not collected? I never had an evasion dexterity cloak. I guess not. If I buy that, we're most likely not going to be able to buy anything else. Because cost 161, we're going to be left with uh, about the same amount. We're going to be left with 160, 159. Crit strike multiplier, we're going to buy this. We're going to try to roll into another crit strike chance thing. Strength index, that's nice. Crit strike chance. I think this is it. This uh, should give us the maximum amount that we need. Yeah, we're going this. Did I ever fix all my resistances? Yes, 76 and everything. Very nice. And uh, the game doesn't have Kitawa, so we're not going to lose all the resistances. Somebody's going to get the reference, the rest not. Uh, let's go. Let's leave and win the game. Now I should have arms and crit chance. The moment the opponent hits half health, that is. This guy has a lot of shielding. Uh, 95. And when he hits half health, 97. 400% crit damage. 99. And 100. And 420. Bone Sentinel, you don't got this, man. 450 crit check chance. Crit damage, actually. Come on, hit 500%. Uh, 500%, let's go! Now I can put it on the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, this was the moment. <laughs> Uh, no. Duel is no Trickster. I would say we're going to Trickster. I I'm not gonna care about the this thing. We're going to Trickster. 12 evasion, 12 evasion chance. What's my evasion chance in general? Uh, my evasion chance is... 75%. Wait a minute. Is there a cap? It seems like there was a cap. At 75% chance to dodge. Uh, we're gonna just upgrade. No, I should have actually got a new one. Doesn't matter. Let's go. There definitely is a cap on dodging. 75, I mean, there is no cap on armor. Like, this is not... I think it's 90% or something, but dodging definitely has a cap of 75. I just, like... I'm getting... I have 400 evasion, and when I'm in a fight, it goes up to... Yeah, 479, and it's still at 75 locked, harm and locked. Ch chance to not take damage, 75, 18, 22, 30. Opponent just died. Man, harm percent crit chance with 500% damage. Love it. Forge... I'm gonna forge the crit chance thing we've got. Uh, which is this thing. 2.5, 2.8. This one then. 3.6. Should have actually leveled the multiplier and not what I just leveled. Eh, whatever. Let's go win the game. Ready, go. Uh, fight. Sing, sing, sing. Look how fast we attack. Four attacks per second. We're not scaling attack damage. Maybe if the opponent misses. But otherwise we don't. We have 1,100 health. 400% damage. 100% crit chance. Man, the elite before this guy had more health. Uh, had, uh, yeah, had more health and survived more than this guy is. 500% damage. Let's go, 5% crit damage. Easy enough. Let's now close this. To see the stacks. 207 stacks of damage there at the end. Very nice. Uh, trickster, duelist, or duelist. Obviously trickster, but the game is over. Because 4% chance to dodge on attacks and increase attack speed. Does this? This 4% chance to dodge, does that make the 75? Nope, it's still 75. It's full on fixed at 75. Chance, wait, chance to evade attacks, 75. Chance to dodge attacks, 14. What? And then chance to dodge spells, 22. Chance to block attacks, 30%, which halves the damage they do. Chance to parry attacks, 42, which uh, reduces it by th one third. Reduce fear duration on you, yeah, whatever. 
Health regeneration per second 12, reduce extra crit by 13%, 76 on all the resistances, 116 invasion, um, dexterity, increased skill effect duration 20%, increased cooldown of recovery 12%. Yeah, man, we were insane. This was an insane build. I'm not gonna continue endless. I think we're gonna end it here. Uh, I mean, maybe I want to do at some point. If you guys enjoy the game enough, comment down below and tell me about it. And if you want to see a true endless, like me run until I die, I could do that. I'm not really sure what happens if you go into a true endless. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be it. If you enjoy it, as I said, drop a like and subscribe. That makes the algorithm actually take off. I should really start seeing how many likes I get and then start saying the things like, if this video gets this amount of likes, then I'm going to play again, right? Because we need to have some kind of metric here. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to, if, or not tomorrow, the next time, if the video goes well, I'm going to play the mage so we can see what the mage looks like. Now, I have no idea whatsoever. This is the one guy I've never, ever, ever, ever played. And there are also difficulty settings, by the way, just to be clear. And difficult enemies are slightly stronger, which is obviously a joke. And there is also a skin if you unlock the final difficulty. So uh, the game has a bit of replayability, but I wouldn't say that much. Because fact of the matter is, if you play Endless and go to floor 15, not floor 10 like I did, but if you go to floor 15, you will pretty much have every single passive in the game. Unless there is some kind of secret passives that I don't know about, that you get only if you get all the passives and then a new tree appears or something. I, I don't know, I literally don't know. So if you want to see more of this, definitely we're going to play Mage next time. If you want to see floor 15, maybe. I could also do some kind of endless live stream on this. This is a video that can, the game that I can easily live stream as I don't think I have to really pay attention to what's happening in the game so I can even play with the chat. And also there is an infinite. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.